maybe I should take this video footage that I have off the shackle and finally edit it and get the final part of the shackle out there. Nah, maybe I should edit the buckshot roulette footage before I record the waste money. That definitely would make for a good video. Nah. Oh. Oh. Yep, we're doing another reaction video. <sighs> you know what? I'm not even sad anymore. So, plays piano. He did it again. And uh, we've got a new trailer for the Victor Initiative, which is going to be a first person horror game, literally, coming in 2025. And he has an official. Okay, I didn't know he had a. An official trailer, uh, this one. But, obviously, we have the, uh, we had two days ago, the final act of Voidside launched, right? And I'm meant to do a video about that shortly. So what the heck is this? Like, I know you have a life outside of content but dude it's 40 minutes past midnight get some sleep what the heck okay so let's see if we can let's uh let's 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 uh, let's just get into it we're gonna do our classic watch the video then break it down on react Subject log one. The horse. This object is single handedly. And honestly, it's been a massive pain. We have to keep this thing. Otherwise, it'll be another two week scanning mission before we find it again. Thing almost has a mind of its own. All the properties still require more research. Wow. Well, there's a lot of look at that. End of log. Subject log two. Chills here. Dude, there's still like 20 minutes left. Of... Well, you've outdone yourself now. What the heck? Make sure to subscribe. To space piano games, <laughs> and uh, let's let's get into analysis of this video. Subject log one. So this is from my, they obviously start with subject log one. I'll I'll talk about what they say a bit later, but we're obviously talking about a subject. The horse. So here we have a giant environment. We have what seems to be a device with a button Morse. hooked up to a teleporter thing. Or like, maybe you hit the button and it makes- oh, this could be a hologram machine as well. I honestly don't know what this is, but I feel like this is going to be a puzzle element or something which we're going to learn. This is a horror game. I believe it's first person survival horror. I don't know, not necessarily survival. But, uh, it's gonna be interesting. Then we have the fabled look at the message, which is in this video multiple times. If this is suggesting, perhaps this is an enemy type that we have to keep an eye on. This object is single handedly. This object is single-handedly whatever. 
since we're focusing on the look at the message, I'm guessing this subject particularly is going to be a weeping enemy, weeping enemy, a weeping angels type enemy. We've got the classic look at the message, similar to the don't blink message from uh, from where they come from. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> And they say that they've still handily killed the lost one. If you're familiar with the game SCP Containment Fleet, there's a character called SCP-173. SCP-173 is, to some ways, a weird statue. Let me find the statue here. SCP-173 is this cute little statue boy. And to some ways, whenever... He's not observed, he moves around pretty much at infinite speed, and snaps next. If this game is going to take a similar path to SCP Containment Fleet, perhaps this is the entity or the subject that caused all of this to go down. And of course, the weak enemies. The <laughs> weak enemies. So here we have the player entering volume, or the camera entering volume. Where we were previous. And honestly, it's been a massive pain. So he walks over the. Maybe it's a scanner, actually. Right, we I have to know. keep this thing. So they were saying how we have to keep this thing. We have to keep this thing presumably under control, right? <laughs> if this is a weeping enemies type thing. I'm sorry, I kept sneezing. Uh, if this is a weeping enemies type angel, perhaps they're saying that we have to keep this thing under observation. But seemingly by the state of the environment uh, and the logs we're hailing, perhaps it's now free to roam the vicinity or the victor initially. Uh, oh, and here... Is that like a... Razor? <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, it could be a camera. No, it's not the right angle, is it? I don't know if that's the right angle to match up the two. But, uh, if this was, then, theoretically, this might just be, it might be that when it's in the light, it freezes instead of when it's in your sight. It could be that having it on camera also Otherwise, it'll be another two week scanning mission before we find it again. So yeah, so it clearly has a penchant for escaping. Let's just relay the generator doors. I thought they both stopped in the middle, but one of them is slightly open. Thing almost has a mind of its own. We have this thing, and we have a chair in the background. Was that a piano? <laughs> it's a space piano. There's a weird cupboard there. I don't know if that's. Oh, okay, so these are definitely cameras. There's the elevator door. All the properties still require more research. Oh, that's cool. So here we've got a monitor, which I presume links back to this giant monitor here. And we're given the instructions. So. End of log. But we have to look through this monitor, obviously. So this is this this seems to be about the weeping angel enemy and how in a nutshell this enemy has basically killed everyone in facility, presumably like SCP-173 and containment bleach. And to stop them you're going to have to be looking at them, either directly or through the monitor. Because you can see this this is not the same monitor, actually. I just realized. Right, because that's a giant, because this room's got a giant concrete floor, or is that fog? I'm pretty sure it's fog. And that's got a carpet floor. So this, this could be, even, one of these cameras that are just in the hallway. Other properties still require more research. End of vlog.
Oh yeah, that is fun. And obviously we have the horse here. This thing is presumably what we're talking about. It looks so unimposing, look how cute it is. Hello. something if you like do to like stare on them for so uh subject log two subject log two and then the victor initiative shows up so this could be teasing at another monster this could also be teasing that the victor initiative is named after monsters maybe maybe monster two is victor yeah you can clearly see my my speckles of coin is starting to die down Woke up like 30 minutes ago. Thanks, Space Piano. Uh, but yeah, the Vector Initiative. That seems to be the name. And obviously, we know it's coming in 2025, which is awesome. And then we just get a lovely shot of the elevator that we saw earlier, which has an exercise. Okay, so we're going to probably be getting out of there. If this is going to be one of those chapter-based horror games, I'm guessing it's going to be the classic you enter the building and uh, you explore, you find interesting data points, and then, I don't know, the enemy starts moving, you have to survive a haul your way back to the elevator. Okay, yeah, the buttons have always been pressed. I wanted to check that because I wasn't sure. That looks like little angel people. Interesting. Maybe I'm just seeing shapes. But, uh, remember to like and subscribe to Space Piano Games. Uh, he stole my sleep in my YouTube video for today. And, uh, have a good day. Basically, I went around and I, I, you know, I. Yeah, I uh, did this, I, I wrote up the entire thing, and I seem to have what appears to be a subject log, obviously. And, well, it's interesting. So to begin with, we have the first line where they're talking about the something horse or the something voice. It gets kind of like here. I'm inclined to say it's either the whisper, whispering voice, the the voice, or perhaps, uh, as we see in the video, uh, the plastic, the plastic horse, or the walking horse, perhaps, I'm inclined to think it's one of these. I'm leaning towards horse more than voice, I couldn't quite understand what they were saying, but I think it's probably talking about the horse we see during the video. This object is single-handedly something, and honestly it's been a massive pain. I'm guessing it's gonna be something like killed. It, I'm guessing it's not killed everyone. Like, because eventually they talk about have it, it being mass pain, we have to keep this thing something, otherwise it'll be two weeks to get out of the mission. I'm guessing it's single handedly, you know, escaped something, escaped containment. If we're going with the whole SCP vibe. And honestly, it's been a massive pain. We have to keep this thing. If we're gonna lift off the escape thing, I think it's keeping it locked up, maybe, or neutralized. Neutralized. Otherwise, it'll be another two week scouting mission before we find it again. Yes. Because obviously, they don't want to find it, so it makes sense that they have to keep this thing locked up. This thing always has a mind of its own. Other properties still acquire more research. End of log. And then we hear about subject log. So we don't know what subject log is yet. Could be the Victor Initiative. Obviously, might not be. Uh, but they are researching different properties. So perhaps the Victor Initiative is a place that studies these other properties, and subject log two is another enemy to fight with this. This means, from what I can see here, I'm assuming that. I'm assuming that the enemy for this 
first chapter per se will be the walking horse or the classic horse or the fake horse, whatever it is. My guess is the weeping angel type enemy, and I hope to see it weep. <laughs> okay, I just remembered while thinking that stuff that Space Piano has an itch to eye, obviously, right? He has a Steam page too. Where he is released Void Side and Void Side and Void Side. <laughs> as well as the OST he is like and the dancer. <laughs> Which is a bloody interesting. Uh and obviously the dancer's here. But he also does a lot of different simulations. So he has a simulation shower surface can form waves. Here he forms up. I'll show you. And here, we are basically demonstrating how a circle makes a wave. Obviously, some really simple stuff. But that's not the damning piece of evidence here, right? The damning piece of evidence, you can guess. Weeping Angel slash SCP-173 test. This is technology that Jack has access to. He also has access to weird non-liminal spaces, which I've got to say is actually pretty cool. I would love to see this in the next initiative. <laughs> you walk through a door and you end up in a hallway that laps around itself. It's, oh, that's scary how it's... Oh, there it is. So that's the angel test we saw. So this means that. Oh god. This means that Jack has access to to this this technology with the whole movement mechanic. So look at them makes a lot of sense. So I definitely think it's gonna be <laughs> I just said this like eight times. I definitely think it's gonna be a weeping angel type enemy. That's my prediction. Uh, if it's not, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing the Victor initiative. <laughs> but i got to go edit this video, and then edit another video, and then another video, and then do some voice side. <laughs> Not what are you saying video is at, at 40 minutes past midnight. Maybe I'll get around to your, your previous game. <laughs>